वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विद ऑल ऑफ यू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इनिशिएटिव विच इज ऑल्सो एन एक्सिलेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ऑल दी पी एच डी एंड पोस्ट डॉक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज कॉल्ड अफसर विच इज ऑगमेंटिंग राइटिंग स्किल्स फॉर आर्टिकुलेटिंग रिसर्च ओके इट इज अ इनिशिएटिव टेक इन टू प्रमोट साइंस कम्युनिकेशन ओके सो बेसिकली वट एवर रिसर्च यू आर डूइंग यू हैव टू राइट इट इन इन अ वे सो दैट द नॉन साइंटिफिक community or the common man is able to understand your research the importance of your research and how it is going to benefit you know the society in general so um, first of all you might you might ask uh, why should we do this well there are a couple of uh, motivating things for you first of all you will get to explore your creative side and of course uh, if you look at the financial perspective there is a good amount of money that you get if you if your um, you know article is selected as the top article so basically if you win it it will be 1 lakh rupees if you come second it will be 50000 if you come third it is 25000 and then uh, top 100 entries will also be selected for which a cash prize of 10000 and a certificate will be given but like i said more importantly you will get to explore your creative side i think this is a fabulous initiative so we do criticize them on their uh, you know uh, drawbacks or when when they are not active with some initiative but i think we should uh, definitely encourage and uh, how can we encourage by participating in this particular Uh, initiative okay so let me just give you a brief idea so this is a website i will give you the link uh, down in the description box okay or you can google it up up uh, dst officer okay department of science and technology augmenting writing skills for articulating research so you click the menu over here and let's read a few things over here let's go to the about section so i'll just give you a brief idea of what exactly it is so as you can see this is the background you can have a look over here and uh, what is what is it that you need to basically uh, write you have to write for the non scientific audiences okay and you have to mention these points whenever you are writing the article the article should be between 1000 to 1500 words and they have given uh, uh, like how you have to submit the article in what format uh, so you have to basically include why does your research matter why is it important why does it inter interest researchers okay why is your topic so interesting to other researchers and why should it interest the reader so these are some of the points that you need to address okay the eligibility criteria is very simple you should be pursuing a phd or a postdoc from any recognized university okay you should be an indian citizen and uh, you cannot reapply so if you applied before you cannot reapply all right in fact i am also planning to participate this year if time permits um i in fact got to know about this initiative last year only from one of my friends who who had won it okay so um if we look at the selection criteria uh, it's quite simple that your whatever article you are writing should be accurate okay so when you are simplifying things so that the non scientific crowd understands you you cannot uh, make it you know uh, factually incorrect okay you can't do that just to make it simple um, right so it should be accurate there should be clarity um there should be some kind of insightfulness fairness and resourcefulness okay and this is very important okay does the article explain the writer's research in a way that is easy to comprehend that is the whole part of science communication okay you don't have to write it like a scientific manuscript you have to write it in a way that it is it becomes easy to comprehend for a non scientific audience like they have mentioned or for a common man okay and uh, so this is the award categories which i already told you okay and by the way the last date to apply for this is 30th september so you have about a couple of weeks more than 2 weeks to to you know to to write your article or to pen down your article all right and uh, so this is all and here they have given see the article should be 1000 to 1500 words um and uh, times new roman font you have to use uh, and okay um okay and you can write it in hindi as well i think um as far as i can see and the font size is 12 and whatever you can see you can read these things okay so this is the basic guideline and if you want to understand that how to write okay if you want to know something so again go to the about section and click on uh, upsa result 2020 so when you click over here you know the winners of the previous year of 2020 will will come up and you can see the, uh, you know there are um, their articles can be viewed if you click over here view you can view their articles so these are the top 100 candidates and as you can see they are from diverse backgrounds you know gujarat technology technological institute iits are there university of calcutta so it's not like they are biased or they are favoring iits or icers okay from all institutes uh, you can see there have been um uh, submissions and they have also been uh, they have also been w winning it right so you can click the view button over here and uh, view any of the submissions 
so that will give you an idea on how to write or gives you some kind of uh, you know push to start writing um so yeah so i thought since i was also unaware of this uh, till a uh, till a while back i i am sure that many of you over here would also be um, you know not aware of this so kindly i request you to please participate in this winning winning is a separate thing if you win it's always feels good okay but i think this is a really good way to to you know uh, communicate your research to the uh, to the masses to the common man right uh, because see uh, if we always complain about funding funding always comes when there's public interest in a particular thing and it is our initiative not to just do research but also to you know uh, to to help uh you know make public understand the importance of research and that that we can do uh, using you know initiatives like this so do participate in this okay uh, be be as creative as possible there are no restrictions over here and uh, and take the leap that's all so please do share it with your friends or your colleagues or your juniors or your seniors whom whomsoever it is don't think of it as a competition think of it as a way that we are going to promote science together right Okay then I will see you in the next video really soon till then take care and bye bye Hey guys so I am a verified educator on an academy and along with that I am also available on the unacademy plus platform where I am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETHI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is acti once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right